good. <laughs> so we're here on the last day of the PPE production. I just wanted to get your thoughts on what your experience was on your first day and now being here till the very end, what was your experience on the last day? Wow. Uh, it's a lot, I know. First day, it was just coming from a sales background, walking in the greenhouse. First of all, I've only been in the greenhouse a few times. And then just the enormity of the production. You're like, wow, can I, I, can I do this work? Sit in there, first, you know, learning how to do the job. And just over four or five months, just the body aches, the pain, of just physical labor, but the gratitude that, hey, I'm working, uh, be that I'm able to do the work, and then to have people tell you what it means to them, and how grateful that you're just getting out of the bed, leaving the house. I felt like I had to do something. Even if I was home, I, I just felt like I couldn't stay home. I don't have small children to raise. I felt like I would have to volunteer someone, someplace doing something. So I, I feel myself incredibly lucky and gracious to be given an opportunity as a non-medical individual to make a difference. Awesome. And so now that it's kind of coming to a close, do you kind of have any um, extra insights on now on yourself as a person it's like amazing to be like I pushed myself I became from the first day where you're like trying to like all thumbs to becoming one of the fastest strappers to helping people uh, it's just like it's like I did this and you realize what it's like as uh, someone growing up, not during a major war, it's like, wow, this is what women and old people went through during World War II, when they were called into action to help make bombs, to help with everything. It's like, this is something like 30, 40 years from now, I'm gonna be like, yes, I was an essential worker. Yeah, I helped the cause. And, and I'm keeping my jig, the piece of wood that you use for strapping. I'm taking it home with me just in case I get called back into active duty. Yeah. Ready to go. There you go. You've got your tools. I got my trade. spool. I'm ready for anything that happens. I like it. And so, on that, what's, what's next for you? Back to sales, uh, helping uh, with clients dealing with uh, people coming in with the new restrictions. Another personal challenge I have is, as you know, I teach college. And at Turo College, I have no idea what's happening with that. Am I Zoom classes? Am I in person? So everything is day by day questionable, but I'm there, I'm ready. Photo class, Turo College, Professor Hardy Rosenstein.